Easily 3 star the Dungeons and Clash of Dragons challenge with this tutorial. The new event attack showcases the supercharged defenses and the first legendary scenery. This is the biggest by far and even includes a custom dragon animation that players will see when they find you in multiplayer. For this reason and how exclusive it will be, it is more expensive than other sceneries but if you are considering purchasing, please support a creator before beforehand by using their code. My code is judo and it is very much appreciated. Let's show you how to three star this base though. Start by assuring that your Grand Warden is set to air mode. Then we will use a couple of balloons to set off traps. So place one either side of the Dark Elixir storage to the west of the base, then one above the Archer Tower to the west as well. An Electro Dragon on top of the Archer Tower at the bottom, one on the Dark Elixir storage, and then your Baby Dragon to that west Archer Tower. They will chain through this entire section, select your Inferno Dragon, but then scroll so you see the invisibility spell. When they move to the scatter shot, deploy your Inferno Dragon on top of the Dragon Statue by the Town Hall, and then turn it invisible. You can count to four before using the second one, but essentially as soon as it's visible again, use your second invisibility spell to snipe the Town Hall. Now with an Earthquake spell, place it on top of the expo and scattershot area and four lightning spells to this bottom section as well because these are supercharged defenses. But over to the northwest, only three lightning spells are required in the middle of this with one earthquake and then zoom all of the way into the dragon head statues, place your queen and instantly press the ability to ping through all of that. Barbarian king in front of the cannon and then press his ability to move into that section Poison on top of the dragon to help the queen take that down. Then use one Earthquake to try and hit as many of those Infernos to the top as you can. Royal Champion on top of the most northern dragon statue to this bottom section and press the ability. If there were defenses there, let the Royal Champion take down those first though. Over to the east of the base, use one Balloon on each dragon statue to get rid of some Seeking Air Mines. Then... Back to the Royal Champion with this Bat Spell. When she's about to take down that final multi-inferno, use the Bat Spell to help protect her. Three Super Dragons, regular Dragons, Balloons, your Scatter Shot, and Grand Warden now to that East Compartment. Let them take a little bit of damage, but after they get through the Scatter Shot, use your Grand Warden ability to try and heal them back up. With the minions, if your king and queen miss any storages to the top of the base, you probably want to deploy them there. You can deploy them for the clan castle after this multi-target inferno goes down. Next to the clan castle, sometimes a dragon goes that way though. And if that is the case, you can deploy all of the minions on this bottom archer tower once it is tanked on your dragons. With that though, you will clean up the bottom area of this base and get yourself three stars. Best of luck, my friends. I had a massive project for my channel released recently, my entire 100 day progress on a new account using the gold pass. So much work went into that and I know you will enjoy it, so I have it linked on your screen.